Welcome back to our very special preview of the uh, two international races in Singapore on Sunday evening. We've had the Chris Lyon, now we're down to the Singapore Airlines International Cup, one of the world's great uh, middle distance races over the uh, 2,000 metres and it's worth $3 million. Terrific lineup here for the uh, the big race and uh, only a couple of gear changes. Mawingo will be uh, wearing a tongue tie for the first time and deep pockets, the uh, blinkers have been uh, taken off. Certainly Mawingo tongue tie, first time in Singapore is the uh, the gear that has been uh, given to us. There's the lineup with the Bonnie Mare, Better Life right down the, uh, the bottom. We'll talk more about Better Life later on and chat with Alan Munro as well, but um, how do we rate her, fellas? I'm, I think she's a, a real live chance of, uh, of causing an upset. She would have been good in this race last year, wouldn't oh, she? Yes. Um, with Flax running third, I think she probably would have won it. But this year, there's a few others that we need to consider. Pistorius and military attack, and the list goes on and on and on. Fantastic horse. You sort of recoiled a little bit there, but she, she's better than Flax, isn't she? I, I don't think so this time last year. I mean, Flax was... No, no, what he's yeah. saying, but you know, if, if it was this time around in that field... Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Um, certainly would have gone close, but horses grow a leg on the day, local horses. She's just got to be, you know, three lengths better than the other, the internationals <laughs> at home. That's it. And you're right, because horses do sort of get sucked along and taken up in the euphoria. Like, why Caddo's not a 2,000-metre no. international group place getter? Well, he is yeah. now, but he's not that sort of horse that you'd he's pick going into. He's a place getter. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So... Uh, you know, things happen. We all get excited on, on a big day like this. And we? King of King of King, Kings won. Uh, that comes second one year as well. It's, I mean, it, it's an amazing... It, it, being a local is an advantage. And, yes. Um, yes. We'll certainly see that again this week. Let's hope so, anyway. Craig, we you put your glasses in your hand? Like, <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, glasses <laughs> on, glasses off. It's has, a, it, has anyone ever been, <laughs> like, taken off after one show? <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Meandra is the uh, the horse that uh, Doug Watson is training. Let's uh, let's hear what he said after the barrier draw. Meandra, you, you're drawn awful. Yeah. Um, uh, it, well, we'll I, I haven't raced on this you know at this track before, but uh, and just talking to a few people since the draw, you know, it sounds like we want to be forward, but I think we might have to drop in and, and try to get up there that way. I, if you push forward, you're going to be five wide, six wide into the turn and lose a lot of ground. So we'll just. We just need a little racing luck, I believe. You haven't had the horse long, but are you happy going in? Uh, very happy going in. Uh, uh, he's done everything right since we've had him, and, and really since he shipped over here, he's done really well too. So he just seems to be progressing every week. So, you know, like I said, hopefully a little racing luck and, and we can be there or thereabouts. Yeah, well, he hasn't had him long. This will be his first start for Doug Watson. Uh, this horse did run third to Red Cadeau in the, the Hong Kong Vars last year. I think his track work's been uh, quite good. Probably his, um, his last couple of runs in Dubai weren't uh, maybe up to, uh, to scratch, but um, you know, he comes here and uh, a horse with plenty of ability. Finished uh, very close to Hunter's Light um, in the Dubai World Cup. A horse, um, Meandre, that's um, run twice in an arc, ran six behind Dane Dream back in 2011. Last time out, ran 12. As Craig pointed out, third to Red Cadeau in the Vars and finished uh, very close to Hunter's Light in the World Cup last time. First run for the new trainer. Seems to be going okay at the moment. Well, just an interesting point there. Was Gitano Hernando uh, first run for a new trainer, same owner, this time last year? Yeah, he doesn't mind buying a horse trying to win a big race. Um, this is a nice run. Now, this is in, uh, in French. This is the pre forward from last year. Now, the horse that wins it on the inside is a horse by the name of Orfebvre, the, uh, the Japanese superstar. So this is a pretty good effort. Yeah, nothing wrong with the performance there. Has campaigned over longer... Um, in the past, over a mile and a half, it ran over the 2,000 metre trip last time. Probably, you know, it was, it was a fair run last time, I think. Beat half the field home in the World Cup. But that pre foy form, of course, would stack up anywhere in the world. Been a quality horse right through his career, as I said. He's running a couple of bucks coming into this. And you know, it's not beyond the, the realms of possibility that he could win it. Um, French bred horse, and we saw Chinchon win the race last year. We did, and they've had uh, a pretty good uh, run in this uh, particular race in the uh, the past. Now, John Moore from Hong Kong. I think it's fair to say he was the best served at the the barrier draw. He's come up with gates number one and four with Dan Excel and also military attack. Result with the the barrier draws. Let's start with military attack gate number four. Well, we all know he can lay up um, in the in the first six and drawing gate four, and which is one better than he did in the QE in Hong Kong. I'm just ecstatic. Um, since arriving in uh, Singapore. He's done everything right, of course, like all horses that, you know, all trainers ship around the world. The first few days is always a little bit of a wait and see, but 
Uh, judging from what I saw in his manger this morning, he's back on his feet again, uh, eating very well. Uh, by the time Sunday comes, I believe that he'll be back to his uh, winning weight, what he was in Hong Kong. Dan Excel, gate number one, coming off a mile win. They couldn't have hoped for anything more. No, I couldn't. They said ready to strike may take up the running. He's going to get the gun run in the box seat. Exactly what he had in the uh, Champions Mile, and it'll make getting the 2000 much easier because he is a bit sus at the 2000, but that that gate's made it all, all easier for him, and um, I'm sure he'll be uh, in front of when, when the whips are cracking at the 300. So military attack, obviously most people think he's the better option for, from your stable. Would you agree with that? Yes, I agree with that. He's, um, he gets 2,000 on his head. Um, he's coming into the race in absolutely top form. And um, from the gate, you know, Purton's on a, a, a crest of a wave at the moment, uh, riding so many winners in Hong Kong. And um, drawing gate four will just make life easy for him. And uh, he's just going to get the gun running. Uh, he's the pick of mine and uh, he's a live chance. Yeah, John Moore talking about uh, both Dan Excel and military attack. Uh, Purton jumps back aboard. Tommy Berry rode him last time, but yeah. Purton won uh, the Gold Cup and then the, the Premier Plate on this guy. Yeah, it's a very good combination. Yeah, it's proving a good combination. The horse continues on his merry way. That's three wins in a row now, winning the Group 1 last time out, the QE2 military attack. And I thought both horses would be fairly prominent. Um, we heard John Moore say that he looked to take a sit with Dan Excel. I thought he might lead the race, but ready to strike probably will push forward. Somewhere in the long lines, Flax has to be up there, I would have thought. And he, we saw him lead last year. He didn't lead Flax last time he went to the race. So I just wonder where he's going to bob up in the run. But Dan Excel from gate one, for sure, will be um, either in front or leader's back, it would seem. Yeah, we'll talk to uh, Jose Verenzuela a little bit later about where he's going to be with Flax, and he might answer the question you just posed. But both these horses have been uh, good. Dan Excel, earlier on in the week, Larry was... A little bit sort of piggy in his attitude. He wouldn't go onto the track a couple of times. And uh, it looks like they've sorted him out. Um, John's son was here, and um, certainly the uh, the family knows how to train horses. Yes, and the big thing is they are looking for an international Group One on foreign soil. Uh, the the Moore Camp. Uh, they've won it in Hong Kong, of course, but uh, John Moore really thinks this might be the horse that gives him that uh, that elusive Group One overseas. Well, that's him going past uh, California Memory, who's raced here before, and um, it's the Hong. Hong Kong form is strong. He's had some terrific horses that have uh, come over. Um, you can go through the list. He's placed in the race before. So John Moore knows how to, well, doesn't know how to win it yet, but I, he knows how to bring the horse here in uh, good form, and I think he's going to play a big part in this. Yeah, he loves travelling his uh, horses. Uh, we're going to have a look at this uh, track work once again, just uh, get a little bit of a look again at uh, Dan Excel and uh, military attack. So, uh, we'll have a look at Dan Excel. He won the Champions Mile. He's drawn beautifully, and um, you thought he might lead uh, Matt, but um, they're thinking maybe taking a sit. But he is is relatively strong at the end of his uh, his races as well. Dan Excel. Mm. Well, yes, but he is just a little bit of a query, and I think that John Moore was relieved because he thought with gate number one, the 2,000 metres would probably in the you know in, in his scope. He's never won beyond a mile. This horse. He won a Champions Mile here at Group One level recently, and when he won this, he put the riding on the wall for a trip here. So he's got a bit of lack of the barrier draw, which he probably needed to get. Um, we know he's flying, and the stable had what second last year. And they look to go one better here. Yeah, yeah Zidane was able to uh, to run second behind Chinchon last year. The thing about him, if he goes forward, he'll. He'll kick. He, I, like the fact, yeah, I like 